Welcome back everybody. I hope you all had a great Christmas. So today is the day, day after Christmas, I am going to start my big build on the U20. This is, I have decided that I am going to print the Hulk and I have decided that, yes, you guys told me Red Hulk is a thing, but I can't make myself print Red Hulk. Sorry, Hulk's got to be green. So if my gear best peeps are watching this, this roll of red filament that you guys provided is going to go in my project box for doing my stuff. And out of my own filament is going to come this roll of hatchbox red filament. Or excuse me, green filament. Because Hulk's got to be green. I'm sorry. I'm a traditionalist. Hulk must be green. So we're going to get started on that today. And also, I printed a test piece. And there he is. Holy crap, is he bright. I printed him in this stupid fluorescent filament. The same filament I printed this out of. But this is all dirty now and has that stainless steel cup inside of it. So um, here he is. Let me turn the brightness down and see if you can see him. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? Anyway, there he is. And I want to give credit to where credit's due. I got this off Thingiverse. And I am going to put the links to both the original model and the repaired remix, which is what I printed this from. And you can see, I hope you can see, he printed really nicely. This is a one-piece model. It did not require anything else. It comes with a base. But, um, and you see I broke one of the fingers off. Maybe you can see it. There he is. I broke one of the fingers off trying to... Um, manhandling off the supports i'm going to have to be a little bit more careful on the um full-sized one but again his finger should be stronger on the full-size one as well but i'm going to put links below because i want to give credit where credit's due for this model because it printed really good sliced it in cure it and um with supports and there was a lot of supports but um for the most part they came off pretty easy obviously i am um, I brutalized the fingers on one hand. He'll never be flipping anybody off with that hand. So let's get this filament changed and we'll be right back and we'll get this started. Okay, we're back. So I've got the green filament in the printer. I've got the bed a fresh level of, excuse me, I had to shut my door. I've got a fresh level of hairspray on my bed. It's been leveled, or if you prefer, trammed, and we are printing. I've got my um, incredibly bright, almost luminescent, translucent green Hulk here. And um, we're going on this. Now, I'm printing this with my pretty much my standard print settings with the exception of I'm printing with a raft because otherwise the supports aren't strong enough to stand up on their own. And um, also I have changed my normal setting for four top layers to three because I'm really not sure there are any top layers on this model. I don't know how you tell what's a, what's a wall and what's a top layer on this one. But anyway, that's how I printed the small one. I'm also printing with supports everywhere. And um, I'm using an overhang level of 55, which seems to work really well for me. I seem to be able to print out to about 62, and that's when it seems to fail. Now, if you print one of these small overhang tests, like this one here, you'll find this. I did these on the Ender 3. You find I went all the way out to about 72 or 73 before it started to fail. You can't really see it, but it went out to 72, 73 before it started to fail. But when I stretched the width out, like you can see on this one here, it failed right here, which is at about the 62 or 63 mark. So the extra length, the extra width, um, it needs more support for that. You can't go to an overhang of... 70 with that long of a it's like Brit with that long wide of a width it's like bridging you can bridge five millimeters with almost nothing with no support at all 
and try and bridge 100 millimeters that way. It doesn't work. So, Kira says this is about a, what did I say, 48, about a 56, 54 hour print. But I've found that Kira underestimates print time by anywhere from 10 to 20 percent. So I'm expecting this to be a 60 hour print. I have gone 350 millimeters in height because if I go any higher, I'm going to lose the hands. I'll lose the hands off the side of the printer. Now, I could, I could try and get fancy and turn it diagonal so that the hands print out in the corners. And I've done that before with some things, and it doesn't really seem to matter. But this is such a big print, and I probably only gained... I probably only gained 20, 30 millimeters in height before I um, was getting near the edge again and the raft would be off it. So I decided to go ahead and print it normally, side by side, not diagonally, and stick with about a 350 millimeter print height. The, um, the printer is capable, even with the glass bed on it, the printer is capable. And I measured it, I moved it all the way up the top, and I measured from the tip down to the bottom top of the glass and I got about 406 millimeters. So the printer is capable of 400 millimeter in height printing. But um, to be on the safe side, I decided to stay down a little bit and to keep the hands on and print normally. So I'm going to leave the camera here and we're going to check back from time to time and we'll see how this goes. Uh, Cure also estimates this is about 750 grams of filament so it's going to take about three quarters of the spool so it's going to take a while to print but hopefully when we're done we'll have a super nice hulk and we'll decide if i should give it away or i should just keep it around here to collect dust with all my other stuff anyway be back catch you guys later we'll see how this goes bye for now So here he is, everybody, the giant Hulk on the AlphaWise U20 printer. I have got a general cleanup of all the support done. It's not 100% cleaned up, but I was so excited about it, I wanted to get it. A video, the final video up and shown to you. And he is a beauty. He stands. Where did my tape measure go? I lost my tape measure. I had it right here in front of me a minute ago, but I can't find it now. Up here it is. He stands four, tiny bit, maybe 14 and a quarter inches high at the tip of his hair. And his width is 10 inches wide. And he used almost a full roll of the really excellent hatchbox green filament and you can see the beautiful detail in it in his face in the torn up pants in his musculature i had a slight i don't know if you can see it but i had a tiny layer shift on one layer and you can see it here don't know why that happened probably something i did bumping or banging the printer but um Nothing I think a little sandpaper wouldn't cure. Other than that, he really turned out super nice. I am really stoked about how this model turned out. And um, in a future video, like maybe next week, I think we're going to have a giveaway. If anybody wants this, we'll have a little contest. And we'll give this giant, beautiful Hulk away to one of you guys. So stay tuned for that. I think it'll be exciting. I may have to print one of these for myself. 
but um, <laughs> I like it that much. So, <laughs> but I'm going to give this one away. So stay tuned for that. And if you guys liked and enjoy my video, please like and subscribe and sign up for notifications and use my affiliate links. It helps me out a little bit. And again, this is the Alpha Wise U20. And I have said it numerous times since I got this printer. This is really a nice printer. It's amazing. It's under $300. It has a 400 by 400. No, excuse me. 300 by 300 by 400 build volume. I'm still thinking in inches. I've got a 12 by 12 mirror square on it. And it will print. It will print. Whoops. It will print 17 inches high. So, um. That's the amazing Hulk statue. Oh, and I want to give credit to the guys who who put this together. On Thingiverse, this statue was originally, and this is not a grab from a game or anything like that. This was a sculpture somebody made. And the guy on Thingiverse who made it is X3RPM. Kudos to him, X3RPM. This is a, a beautiful thing he did. And the actual print thing I printed was called Remeshed and Decimated Hulk Model from Designer X3 RPM, and that was extra work was done by Doodle Monkey. So thank, thanks to both of them. And again, stay tuned for the contest. Like and subscribe. Use my affiliate links, and you guys have a great New Year's. Bye for now.